have a, I would say, a rich pool of flora and fauna. And we have the whole environmental and, env and analytical area as well. We are the ones who need to, to mitigate some of these environmental disasters that may befall us. I am in charge of the research, outreach, consulting and analytical services for the department. So I help people who have questions, whether they need something um, analyzed or, or, or getting a team together to give the analytical service. People really are very concerned about their their, their environment and so they tend to ask a lot of questions. How do you improve air quality? Well, you could change the fuel. So that's where the chemistry comes in. And I feel strongly that any type of science we do should be relevant. It should be demand-led. This project, Science Education as a Climate Change Resilience Strategy, actually came about because of a previous project quantifying the contamination in the Guanapo landfill, the soil, the air, and the water. We actually thought, well, what's next for this community? We decided to use aquaponics. Um, you see, the, the big goal, the big picture of this project is really knowledge sharing and confidence building. And aquaponics in this case is used as a teaching tool from the community need. And secondly, it's definitely a good way for us to be present in community, for us to show um, that our science has meaning and, and that we can go out there and, and be relevant. We teach science concepts using different teaching strategies for all age groups. So I thought that Nehus would play an important role in helping the community move from where they are to where we want them to be in terms of human capacity. So, so what we did is we set up a schedule for feeding. So we want to make sure we know who came and fed the fish and to say, okay, you observe that everything is okay, the system is running fine. Doing my job, which is the fish health management, is being able to go through records well, and seeing yes, yes, what's yes. been happening and at what point yes, something yes, went yes. wrong. Because of the fact that the Gunapo River is being um, polluted, we have to find alternative ways of rearing fish. This program gives me an opportunity to do it on a bigger scale and to be, be able to take back the information that I've gathered, how to actually set it up. Under the, the focal area of climate change and climate change resilience, agriculture is one of the best ways to reduce carbon emissions. My grandfather is a avid um, farmer and this program kind of open up the more intricate um, aspects of the system itself, the filtration system, the type of substrates used. When they were explaining it, I said, you know, something nice to learn about something different. The first thing that you do in an emergency, change the water. So you just have to keep flushing your system with water, with clean okay. water, but it has to be dechlorinated water. Yeah. It's a rare partnership between the UV Department of Chemistry. We have the funders, the Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program, the Department of Clinical Veterinary Medicine, um, the UV After School Care Center, NEHUST, as well as the Gunapo Community Environmental Development Organization. We give the public science in a fun, interactive, and engaging way. We have also had partnerships with rural communities where we try to bring science to them in different ways. The ideas use practical ed science education where the, the participants can be hands-on in the learning. We can easily use this now to teach the whole experience of experimenting. So the waste from the fish is being converted into food for the plants. All right, so understood everything y'all did there? Right. Usually when we do training training sessions, everyone is not on the same cognitive level. Because remember, we are training people that we are meeting for the first time. So we have to gauge what scientific background they have, how much knowledge they have, and build. These community um, leaders, they know best how to reach their children. The most satisfying thing for me is disseminating this type of information to the children. You know, um, going through the steps. We did water cycle with them, we did water as a habitat, we did water pollution. It's hanging the grow bed up so we're not getting to the fish's water. The two-week system we started on farm, the first few days did Terry explaining what it is, 
what they're supposed to do, what is expected of them and so on. Teaching them about the system first. I think the best part of fun about it is putting in the fishes. We got to have a real fish and real plants. I like the idea that we are focused on the children, knowing that the children are our future. And having this as a sustainable setup for each household, I think it's a pretty good idea. So hopefully some of them will take upon themselves and try the simple aquaponic system that we showed them. Surprisingly, I think they were well engaged with regards to the theoretical part. Just seeing how the system functioned, it was like magic to them. It's challenging already with the, the type of environment that most of the kids um, grew up in. So to show them a different way of life. This is the system here that we built. You all know it. You all labeled it before, right? Yes, sir. Any part of this project is definitely important to have community present from the beginning to end. For Guanapo, the aquaponics is a good tool um, because it provides an alternative from the soil and the water that may be contaminated from the landfill. So the people now have options. The, the aquaponic system can be small scale if for just domestic purposes and they can actually scale up the system if they want to make it into a, a business venture. It brings the community together to interacting and building that community spread. It also teaches people alternative ways of earning income and providing food supply. We have some um, collaborators on board, so there, there are lots of um, opportunities for this project to be replicated in different communities in Trinidad and Tobago.